I, I just there'd be a, a number of reasons why like mm. as a coach and we've played the game mm. and I was listening uh, to Matt Gitto talk on the offload podcast for Rugby Pass and it was great because they had access to all the clips and of yeah. the Fijians playing at the World yeah. Cup and he said that they're, they're, like, they're the hardest team to play against yeah. they are just so so gifted yeah. I know Pierre Tower's not Fijian but at Bristol they've got semi round Ranger you look at these lads play like we played with the two Alangis yeah, at Leicester yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. What do you think? I know we are segueing slightly, but I love I love talking about the the late Sarah Rambini. Yeah, yeah. Like Very the list is way. the list is endless. Yeah, of these players. Um, like you're well read, I know, so yeah. you might know a little bit more about maybe like the genetics. Yeah. I'd love to go there and I'd X-ray them and like yeah. take their blood and their DNA and just see. What, I mean, their feet. I, I remember. <laughs> I, know, I just remember like Sarah in the change rooms. Yeah. He just had these massive. Wide feet, the two Alangis, like their feet are busting over the yeah. boots. Yeah, it's incredible. They it? are built for contact sport. Yeah. Incredible. And, and if you actually watch, I've, I've had the pleasure of seeing some um, international camp training for like Tonga. Mate, they like fly into each other like you've never seen, mate. Like barreling each other, smashing each other, then afterwards all hugs. It, 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 they just love the contact because physically they can do it, right? Look at us. Yeah. Two, two old white dudes, right? Like, mm. you know, we're just not built to do contact sport to the level that you can. These guys have muscle mass, bone density, uh, explosive tissue. It's it's incredible, some of the athletes around. Incredible. Yeah, I, I do wonder, and again, this study might have been done, but around the concussion stuff, mm. there must be a thing where, like, structurally, your density of your bones, of your, your head, yeah. your skull, the tendons <clears throat> and muscles in your necks... Yeah. And again, this is a very throwaway comment. And again, don't quote me that this is the fact, but yep. you don't see as many concussions and them kind of flatline knockouts, do you, around Fijians, Samoans, Tongans? Like they are more yeah. durable, I'm right. I know you see a lot of bone breaks because of the yeah. the velocity and the speed yeah. in which they... I, I'm, again, it's on a whim, but yeah. it'd be interesting to see. It could be. I think. I think what the, the obviously they discuss now. It tends to be like two man collision head on head. That tends to be in you know, those hips and knees and stuff. But I think the head on head thing is is the biggest thing for concussion. For what I see, mm. um, I actually seen less concussions in France than I did in the Premiership. I, I, don't, I don't know why we've got much bigger athletes there. We, we've got a second row mate who's 154 kilos. 154 kilos. Mm. It's, it's crazy. Will Skelton's floating around. It's probably something similar, you know. And there's there's so many of these kind of people playing the game. It's just a different, different kind of playground compared mm. to compared to that compared to the Premiership on a, on a more consistent basis. They've got just some really really big men. Lots and lots of Islanders, uh, Fijians, Samoans, Tongans. Um, you know, e even you know Africans coming up as well playing and the big men, mate. Yeah, big men, powerful, explosive. You know, really, that's why it's, why it's so exciting. There's just so much ver variety and and, uh, and different skill sets available, and some real, real superstars of the game as well, of course. Yeah, is it regulated the same in France now? In terms was, of well, like you say, well, the the first time we saw it, and there was this big hurrah, was when Scotland played against France. Yeah, and Anthony Jalon went off. Well, he didn't want to come off. And yeah, the physio was on the pitch, yeah. and he said, "No, no, he's got to come off." Yeah. Um, I'm mean, Ash Kelly, I think the ref, I think he yeah. said it right. And he was like, what's going on? He's like, no, he needs to come off. Yeah. Whereas before, you've potentially seen him stay on or you see the odd clip coming from the top 14. Like, they're massive on it, right? Yeah, In yeah. the Premiership yeah. and the and rightly so. Yeah, and rightly so. so. Rightly so, uh, yeah. Christ, you know, it's... No, no, 100%. It's, it's, it's the same. It's the same. But, yeah, it's something, obviously, we have to protect our players as much as we possibly can, you know? Uh, with the contact sport, there's a certain acceptance that there is a risk, of course, but it can't be blind risk. Do you know what I mean? You, you, we have to do something. We can't accept that something happened and now we're seeing people with early dementia. You know, like it just, it just shouldn't happen. We have to we have to do something to protect our players so that we have more and more players playing the game. Otherwise, the game the game will die. You know, so we need we need to do something and keep thinking of ways and solutions to problems because it's it's tragic reading about people that we play with or against seeing some of the difficulties they've got now just from playing rugby.